Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Appalicious2, and today I've got a new video for you guys. It has to do with your Mac, specifically some tips and tricks. They're pretty cool, you might even have seen them before. But in case you haven't, I'm going to go through all. But one last thing before we get started. I'd like to give a shout out to this guy up here. And in case you haven't already noticed, I have a pretty cool new channel design. Which, of course, was made by him. So go check him out. But now, let's get into the video. So, for those of you who especially may be new to a Mac, there's probably a lot of things you didn't know you could do. For example, up here, you see how all these folders and stuff is just really unorganized? Well, most people will try and organize it, and they'll just drag it. But, in truth, it's never, never perfectly aligned. So, the trick here is if you select all of it, you hold down command, it automatically aligns them. So there you go. Next cool thing is how to slow down animation. For example, with this window right here, if I hold down shift and click the minimize button, it slows it down and it looks all cool. And back up. The next two tips have to do with volume control, especially if you have people around the house who are like volume control freaks. The first one is if you hold down shift and control and you change the volume button or you hit the volume buttons and it doesn't make a sound. So you could secretly, if your mom tells you to turn it down, you could secretly turn it back up without her knowing. Next is super volume control. If it's always too soft or too loud, if you hold down option and shift or alt and shift, each little square is divided into four mini square mini little parts. So instead of the single squares, you have many ones. Next has to do with has to do with screenshots. If you hold down command shift 3, you can take a picture of your whole desktop. So this is great for, I don't know, whatever you need to take a picture of. If you don't want to take a picture of your whole desktop and you just want to take a picture of a certain area, you hold down Command Shift 4. And there you go. Takes a picture of the little area. And say you want to take a picture of an area specifically like this window right here you hold down command shift 4 instead of trying to drag it so you try and get it perfect you press spacebar and you get this little camera and it takes a picture of the window like that another cool thing you can do with your desktop or your screen is if you hold down control option or alt command 8 it makes your screen negative. Now this isn't going to show up on the video, but if you look right here, you're going to see my face kind of like flashing. And that's because I'm changing it. So you'll just have to trust me on that one. It's pretty cool. Like stuff that's blue turns to orange and stuff that's white turns to black. It's pretty cool. This, these next couple tips and tricks have to do with magnification and zooming. So say I'm recording a video like such, and I want to zoom in on a specific area, such as these tricks right here. I hold down control, and if you have a mouse, you're just going to scroll. If you have a trackpad, you're going to take two fingers, and you're going to scroll in, just like that. And that's how you zoom in and out. Hold down control. Next, if you hold down control and shift, it's going to magnify a dock application. So I have magnification turned off on my dock, but if I hold down down control and shift, it magnifies them. So say I'm recording a video and want to show you an application, but I have magnification turned off. So hold down control shift, magnifies it. Next is how to make cool keyboard characters such as these right here. If you hold down alt you get a whole bunch of different characters you can make. If you hold down Alt Shift, you even have more characters. And if you have Snow Leopard up here, you can have this icon which will show uh, your character viewer 
up here where you can add and you've got all these different characters and another cool thing is it can show the keyboard viewer so for example if I hold down alt it shows which or which characters if I hold down alt shift it shows what I need to press to get the certain characters so that's pretty cool now if you don't have this up in your toolbar the way you can put it up there is if you go into system preferences keyboard you can click show keyboard and character viewer in the menu bar right there so thanks for watching those are my top 10 easy tips and tricks you can do with your keyboard so catch you later